Every morning, just beyond the river west of Tulsa, 64 young men awaken to a new day. A day of healing, a day of hope, a day that takes them one step further away from a troubled past and a step closer to a promising future. This extraordinary journey is the beginning of every ordinary day here at the Tulsa Boys Home. They come to us for many reasons. For some, mental illness or substance abuse is the cause. But most have endured early childhood trauma that involves abuse, neglect, and the complete breakdown of a healthy family system. These are boys who can't live in their home or don't even have a home and can't be helped by outpatient treatment. They need a residential program, a structured daily regimen, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They need the Tulsa Boys Home. One of the things that really makes the Tulsa Boys Home unique is the treatment model that we've come up with some years ago called the Tulsa Boys Home Relationship Healing Model, which is powerful in its simplicity, but very, very intense. Here at the Boys Home, we went through what was called a Relationship Healing Model, which is a program where your counselor and brings in your family and other people around you so that you can rebuild those relationships and tend to the things that have been hurt or things that you've done to your family or things that you need to talk about because uh, without that healing model, there's no way that me I would have ever been successful without my family as that support once I had left the boys' home. And so to me, that was a very important factor in what I did. What started in 1918 with the discovery of two boys sleeping in trash boxes in a downtown alley has grown in size and impact far beyond what those first volunteers could have imagined. From those humble beginnings in a two-story house on Boston Avenue, the Tulsa Boys Home today is situated on a beautiful 158-acre campus in Sand Springs. And since those first two scared little boys were discovered, the home has touched the lives of well over 11,000 troubled young boys in need. This day begins as each day at the Tulsa Boys Home begins, with a routine, such a simple concept, but that structure and consistency and responsibility is anything but routine for these young men. Our morning routine with the chores, uh, we're trying to teach the boys self-discipline and responsibility to live together as a group and accountability among the lodge. Uh, we come out, eat breakfast, and then after we eat breakfast, we start our chores. Uh, self-discipline with these guys is extremely important. We have a supervisor that watches over everybody's chore and makes sure they does it, do it correctly. A loving dose of the responsibilities well-adjusted adults are expected to accept has proven to be a positive learning experience for the boys. They take these basic living skills with them, far beyond the Tulsa Boys Home Campus, using them as a foundation for a better family life a better job, and a better future. It's really hard to accomplish life on your own, and you can't do that. You, you have to be able to rely on other people, to rely on other things, which is things that have transferred to me into my marriage, into my home life, into other things that I have, because I've learned, too, that it's okay to rely on my wife. It's okay to rely on other people in my family, because without that support, there's no way that I could have been successful. Of course, this isn't the only teaching the boys get. Once their morning chores are done, it's time for school. Many of the boys come to us in academic trouble. They're behind in school, their grades are suffering, or they haven't bothered attending school much at all. We change all that. Our on-campus school at Tulsa Boys Home is fully accredited through the state of Oklahoma and staffed by veteran certified teachers. Small class sizes allow for individualized attention and volunteer mentors and tutors make it possible for the school to provide one-on-one -on -one support for students needing extra help. Our on-campus school provides English, history, science, and math, and a special focus on credit recovery. And our credit recovery program is called the Virtual Academy, and the Virtual Academy is a classroom where the boys stay in there all day long and work online on courses to uh, retrieve the credits that they're behind. Because many of the boys, when they come to the Tulsa Boys Home, are behind at least a semester or more in their high school credits. 
Students even earn credits through the summer, studying journalism, math, science, humanities, reading, and more. And of course, no summer program would be complete without intramural sports like basketball, flag football, baseball, swimming, tennis, and weight training. I came to the Tulsa Boys Home on October 11th, 2010. Um, I came into the Substance Abuse Lodge. I was I really honest, before I came in, I didn't see myself living past that year. Uh, I came across three overdoses, and I, I thought my life was really coming to an end. I never thought I'd, be, I'd make it past that year, and came to the Boys Home. It completely changed my experience. And anytime I have any issues, um, any days where I need some support, I immediately go to my phone, call simply one or two of the staff members, and they're there for my support. Though it's already been a full day, the boys have plenty to do once school is out. From leisure activities like fishing in our own stocked pond, shooting hoops with other residents, or playing board games, to more organized events like the Tulsa Boys Home Running Club, which practices regularly and competes in events statewide. To everybody's favorite, Ms. Daly's ceramics class. When I see them when they're in their 30s and 40s, they still run up to me and say, Miss Patty, I still have my ceramics. And they tell me how much the little things meant to them that we did in the classes. For other boys, the end of school means it's time for work. But doing the work program, it just teaches them good work ethic. They're, they're there to be, they have to be on time. They have to work and they have to leave when they have to leave one time. When they go back to their lodge, then they're done. But the good work ethic is just really good. It exposes them to learn how to be more responsible, hold each other accountable, and also set examples for the other residents that are coming in um, that are new to the program. At Tulsa Boys Home, we treat each moment of every day as a learning opportunity. Another chance to model responsible behavior and encourage good choices. More importantly, every minute we spend with a boy is an opportunity to continue the healing process he so desperately needs. Nowhere is that more evident than in our counseling and therapy programs. Everything that we do at the Tulsa Boys Home has a reason. There's a rhyme and a reason for everything, from the time they get up, for the time they go to bed, and everything in between. All the things we do in the behavioral component of the program tie in with and go hand in hand with the clinical piece, which is really, really intense in order to get to these guys' hearts and help them really, truly heal. The clinical component of Tulsa Boys Home consists of individual group and family therapies for the boys that are fortunate enough to uh, still be involved with their families. At Tulsa Boys Home, we feel it's very important to discuss the residents' individual treatment weekly with the whole treatment team. It's primarily the boys in the substance abuse treatment programs that still have families that they work with very closely in their treatment. A lot of times, uh, Addicts and alcoholics have a real difficult time in changing their belief system and it takes a lot of groups and therapy to help them see how their lives have been altered in the past through chemicals. Uh, the boys that are in our Department of Human Services program uh, sometimes have families, uh, sometimes they don't, but we still work with uh, foster families, adoptive families, and extended families that can participate in the treatment program. At discharge, the overall goal for each boy is to remain clean and drug-free. While these traditional therapies and treatments have delivered outstanding results for thousands of young men, here at the Tulsa Boys Home, we decided to take it a step further creating a unique therapeutic program that has become our signature. One of the more exciting things that we've gotten into in the boys' home in recent years is um, our work with horses. Our therapeutic equine program has been probably one of the most powerful components of our treatment model that I've seen in a long, long time. Our equine program is made up of three basic components. The first component is general grooming, uh, care and health of the horses. The second component involves the equine psychotherapy sessions that our uh, equine therapist does with the boys here on campus. And the third component deals with horsemanship uh, classes and teaching that we do with the boys. 
The equine assisted psychotherapy component, uh, the way we use horses here really is the way we get to the hearts and minds of the young men here. I really enjoy the horses because, you know, they let me they relieve everything. They let me, they let me be honest with them and whenever I'm doing my things with the horses, I feel that it's okay, like, to be honest and I don't have to bottle things up. As the day comes to a close, 64 young men continue to learn and grow and heal under the watchful eye of their counselors. Tomorrow, we'll bring visits from the Nicholas Club, the Junior Women, or the Women's Association, volunteer groups who have been established to support the Tulsa Boys Home and have made an impact in far more lives than they'll ever know. Over the weekend, the boys might enjoy an outing to the Philbrook Museum, a TU or ORU game, a ropes course, or a movie. And of course, time for spiritual reflection with our campus youth minister, where the boys can discover a number of different denominations. But for now, it's time to learn the simple self-discipline of lights out. For you see, every minute is a moment for growth. It has to be, because changing lives for a lifetime is no simple task. It takes more than a genuine passion to do something good, more than sincere empathy from our staff and volunteers. It takes dedication and commitment, a plan and resources. Serving in many capacities here, uh, I've seen lots of different ways that the boys home uh, and the board helps the, the boys home cap accomplish these tasks and, and the things that they do uh, is, is very positive. With supporters like this, numerous service awards, and a rare 100% compliance rating from the National Council on Accreditation, not once, but twice, it's easy to see that we have the dedication and commitment. With the steady growth in facilities, the addition of new programs and strategic alliances which provide everything from speech, occupational and physical therapy, to drug prevention education and foster family placement, it's easy to see we have a plan. And as for resources, with an aggressive capital and endowment campaign underway and volunteering opportunities too numerous and varied to list, there are more ways to give of your money and your time than you could ever imagine. The need is great, but countless phone calls, emails, and letters of thanks tell us so are the results. And that makes all the time worth every minute. You know, if you distill it all down, the Tulsa Boys Home is about healing broken minds, broken hearts, broken spirits, changing lives for a lifetime. That's what it's about. Message one. My name is Jesse Water, and I used to be a resident there a few years back, probably about four or five years ago. And um, I was calling just to inform you that, man, I'm, I'm doing good, you know, and thinking back on everything that's happened. I just wanted to say, man, that your program was awesome. I still use the coping skills and everything y'all gave me, but I just wanted to say thanks, man, because I couldn't have done it without what y'all taught me. So thank you, Greg Conway. Thank you for the program. Thank you for everything. I want y'all to know that I really appreciate it.